Hey there, it's Octavia Klein. I am your social media strategist here. And I'm going to show you today how to make your thumbnails in for YouTube. Okay, so when you're uploading a video to YouTube, it usually wants you to like grab either one of the um, thumbnails from your video or you can upload a nice pretty one. I suggest doing a nice pretty one because it's going to make your branding look so much more cohesive and really beautiful and make you look really professional on YouTube. So let me just show you what I'm talking about here. I'm going to share my screen and just show you what I am flapping about over here. Okay. So on my YouTube channel right here, you can see this is my YouTube channel. Each one of my videos has a nice little cover photo. So everything looks very branded and cohesive and it looks really nice. So where you would do this, when you upload a video right here in the uh, creator station, when you upload a video, it will ask you down here um, if you want to add a thumbnail or if you want to use something from your video. Now you could use a kind of a cute one from your video, but I definitely suggest uploading a video. You just click these three dots here and um, you can go ahead and change that or upload a video. And I'm gonna show you how to create that video in, I mean that uh, thumbnail in Canva right now, okay? So go over to Canva. Canva is a free um, app that you can use. You can use it on your phone. You can use it on your computer. You can also do the paid version. There's a lot more um, features when you're using Pro in Canva, but you can get a lot done, you guys, in the free version. So what I'm going to do is just go in the search box, and I'm going to search for a YouTube thumbnail. And you'll see there's all these really amazing templates that are already done for you. So if you're like, I am not creative, and I don't know if I can do this, just grab one of these. And one of the things that you can do actually, so let's say you wanted to do, let's see here. Um, I'm not going to go with that one. Let me find one real quick. That's sort of an easy one to change up. Let's say I grabbed this one right here, right? And what I could do, if you've already got your branding colors picked out for your brand, you could just go in here and like literally just kind of make it your own, right? You can change the uh, change the, the colors here, make it your own colors, put your own photos in, change the font to your branding fonts that you like to use. And there, boom, now you've got something that's already in your brand colors and everything, right? But we're going to start from scratch here. Okay, so we're going to go to YouTube thumbnail, create a blank one, okay? So from this blank template, what I'm going to do is I, I do have my um, branding colors uploaded. So I'm going to click right in here in this box and click the color um, button. And I am going to give myself a nice little pink background, maybe a little lighter pink background. And then I'm going to go over here to elements. And one of the things that I did before I even started is I kind of like, you know, I went over to some YouTubers that I really like. And I checked out their YouTube pages and kind of got some inspiration before I started on mine. And I said, okay, I know the direction I want to go into, right? So I'm just going to add something like that to give myself a little bit of a pop, a little bit of a black slap, back splash here. And you could even do something else. So I just picked like the square, but you could even like go into the elements box here and put splash. Let's see here what they got for splash. And you could like literally take something like this. I'm going to pull this out and you can have like this cool splash back there. Right. And like, just give yourself like some pedal and you could change it to your branding colors. Right. <laughs> so that's not what I want to do though. So I'm going to go back to my little boring square and I'm going to put my little boring square in there right there. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and make this bigger and just give myself this little bit of an element in here. Okay. And I'm going to change the color of this back to my blue. And then what I'm going to do is I've got some uploaded photos in here of myself. Sure. Here I am right here. And right here with this image, what I can do is I can edit the image and I can remove the background of it. So I'm going to remove the background so that I pop off of the, uh, off of the image here. And I'm going to make myself a little bit bigger because I want this to pop. And I'm also going to flip myself around so I can go here and flip horizontal, boom. And there I am pointing at what is going to be my wording in here. So I'm going to go back to the elements and I'm going to grab another square. And I'm going to use this as kind of a little text box 
for my text, okay? And I'm gonna make this a different color in my branding colors. Maybe I just might leave it pink, actually, to be honest. They kind of look cute pink. All right, then I'm going to go over here to the text and I've got my branding text, uh, branding fonts already loaded in here. And I'm going to write how to create a, all right. And I'm going to make this bigger so I can come over here to the font size and make this like pretty big because again, we want this to like stand out, right? We want people to be able to see what, what's going on here. That might be just a hair too big. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to add some subheading here um, in, in this box. And this is going to be how to create a thumbnail YouTube thumbnail, right? Okay. And then I could put in Canva. Okay, so there we go. And Let's do it like that. And I'm, you know what? I don't love this font. So I'm actually going to go in here and change this font to something that's a little more bold um, and is going to stand out. Forgot my U in there, y'all. I know somebody saw that. They're like, wait a minute. What about your U? <laughs> okay. All right. Let me see here. And you just play around with it. You know, I mean, that's the thing. I'm not a graphic designer, but I can just play around with this and see like how it's going to look and what's going to make it look the best. Right. So is this all lined up? Yes. Okay. So I'm kind of digging this. And what I can do is, you know what? I don't love this. I'm going to make this white. I think no color. Oops. No, we're going to make it white. Yeah, that makes it pop a little bit more. And then the other thing I could do, because this is a YouTube, um, this is a kind of a Canva tutorial. I can go over to Elements and I can actually, I've already searched for Canva, but I could put Canva in here and search for Canva and the um, Canva logo is going to pop up. So this kind of just gives my, the person who's scrolling by like, oh, I've been wanting to learn more about Canva. And she's got a Canva tutorial. I could also grab a YouTube um you know, a YouTube, what do you call this thing? Oh my goodness. Here we go. Logo and put this in here somewhere if I wanted to, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to just leave it like this and this is great. And I can just click in here for share and I can go ahead and download that. And if you have the free version, I think you can only do this one X uh, pixel, but if you have the paid version, you can make it a little big, bit bigger um, just to give it, um, to make it more of a clear image. So I'm just gonna go ahead and download that. And then I can come back over to YouTube again, and I can change this to that new thumbnail. Okay, so that's it, you guys. That's how I did it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn more branding tips from me, so how to really like create your brand, I have a, a free guide that you can find below that is the five steps to branding yourself on social media so that you can attract customers and um, attract more to you. Oh, and I also have this amazing Facebook group. It's a Facebook community. It's called Women Entrepreneurs Crush it on social media where I give a lot of fun tips and um, information in there. So if you want to join that group, let me know in the comments and I will get you in there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.